Well, welcome. Thank you for joining me on another adventure. Uh, I spared you the boring part of driving here. Today, we're in the absolutely amazing uh, Capitol Forest in Olympia, Washington. Olympia is, uh, if you don't know, <laughs> a different part of the country. Olympia is the capital of Washington State, so rightly so, they call this Capitol Forest. It's a beautiful area, a mix of uh, gravel and dirt and uh, tarmac like this. I've only scratched the surface. I've only, you know, gone on a few roads. There's a lot of nooks and crannies to explore here. And what better vehicle to do it in than this beautiful 2023 Infiniti QX80 Sentry. Uh, <laughs> this is our most uh, fully loaded, our most expensive, our most opulent, our most luxurious vehicle in our product line. But incidentally, it's also the most off-road capable. Even though it might look like it's in a tuxedo, this has some serious off-road hardware um, and it can do some serious off-roading. It's been in, uh, used in off-road races. It's based off the Nissan Patrol Global Platform, which is basically like Nissan's version of the Land Cruiser. Well, I'm not gonna go crazy <laughs> in this thing myself. Maybe I'll go on some dirt roads, but I don't plan on doing some serious off-roading. But the nice thing about having a vehicle like this, if you do wanna explore the outdoors, you do wanna kinda go out into the unknown, uh, knowing that you have a capable four-wheel drive vehicle, even though you don't plan on you know doing rock crawling and stuff like that, you know, if you get in a st sticky situation, maybe you know you run into some snow or some really beat up roads, or you have to drive through uh, a washed out you know road by water or a small stream, uh, you know you're going to be a lot more comfortable doing it in something like this versus you know for example like a car-based crossover like our QX50 and QX60. They might look like SUVs, but they're more based on cars, and they're okay for light off-roading, but they can't hold a candle to the QX80 uh, when it comes to the tough stuff, because this is not based on a car platform. This is built on rugged body and frame, truck-based construction. All right. Fall Creek Camp, that's a campsite over there. Wow. Obviously, they do a little uh, forestry out here too. Uh, there's a big, uh, if you're not from Washington, uh, there's a big uh, forestry industry in Washington. Uh, in fact, uh, some of those uh, like uh, shows, Axeman, uh, those reality shows, some of them actually took place in uh, parts of Washington um, in the Oregon coast, on uh, the Washington coast, I think as well. Well, let's keep on exploring and see what other cool little vistas we can find. I'd like to take some really nice pictures of this QX80 in the woods. So uh, let's keep on exploring and see what you can find. One of uh, nature's amazing gifts is uh, right, right now the wildflowers are in full bloom and they look absolutely spectacular. Really beautiful area. Man, it's just one beautiful vista after another. Not too many places to pull over, but I found this nice little spot. Uh, a little sun break right here. You can see these beautiful rolling hills, and I guess you could call them mountains, or just everywhere. Um, and as I mentioned, these beautiful wildflowers are blooming right now. Just such a quiet, serene spot. See the dragonfly flying around up there. And look at these awesome flowers over there. I don't know what kind of flowers these are. There's all sorts of Amazing wildflowers blooming right now. And these things are absolutely gorgeous. Not a cloud in the sky right now. And I'm just having an awesome adventure. I love going for drives, exploring. Um, and this is just such a cool area. Uh, I encourage you guys to come out and explore it as well. You don't need a, you don't need a fancy four wheel drive. Uh, really to explore Capital Forest, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, if you just have like an all-wheel drive vehicle like a Subaru or something like that, you'll do just fine. Even, you know, a regular car, just as long as you don't go to, uh, on two beat-up roads can, you know, go through some of these areas. I've driven actually through this area in my 12-passenger van. I just mostly stuck to the paved areas and like the, uh, you know, the, the really well-maintained gravel roads, but... A lot to explore. There's camping, you know, hunting, shooting, all sorts of recreational things to do out here in Capitol Forest. We're just so lucky to live in this beautiful state of Washington with so many awesome outdoor things to do. 
All right, let's keep on, uh, let's keep this adventure rolling before we run out of time and see what else we can find. All right, as we continue our drive through the amazing Capital Forest, we're a little bit of a higher elevation right now. Some lovely vistas, maybe uh, the trees will open up a little bit more and I can get some good shots <laughs> of this view that we have up here. Such a lovely place to spend a beautiful July day like this. And there's a lot of uh, other, you know, there's a lot of dirt bike trails and mountain biking and stuff like that. A lot of, you know, you know, foot trails, a lot of places to even explore that I can't get to in this vehicle. Really narrow roads, as you can see too. You have to not go too fast. Uh, there's some blind corners as people, you know, dirt bikers and cars. So you have to really take it slow because um, you don't want to get into a head-on collision with somebody. <laughs> so I try to keep it about 15, 20 miles an hour. I don't see any posted speed limits, but that feels about right to me. This road's really nice. It's uh, amazing just having a nice little paved road like this going through this forest. This guy's kind of going a little fast over here in his Audi. <laughs> All right. And the amazing thing about Washington is we have such contrasting topography and scenery. Me growing up in you know the East Coast, there's some beautiful spots in the East Coast but really you could you could be in Massachusetts or you know New Hampshire or you know even as far as Minnesota or upstate New York and it doesn't look that much different I'm sure there's areas that are but I mean if you think about Washington we have such a drastic difference in our topography and climates where you have you know the coastal Washington you know with the Pacific Ocean then you have this amazing inland waterway uh, this huge inland sea with Puget Sound and this really, you know, you know, temperate uh, marine <laughs> environment around Puget Sound. You have uh, the whole rainforest on the Olympic Peninsula, and then you know you go into the mountains. You have these gigantic mountains like the Alps in Europe, <laughs> and then you know you go over the mountains and then you go into you know Eastern Washington, and then you have the high desert. Uh, so it's just amazing. In three hours, you could be in the high desert. You could be in a you could be in a rainforest. Um, you could be on the coast, or you could be in this amazing inland uh, you know inland sea of all these little islands and stuff like that. I lived on grew up on I lived on Vash Island Island for many years. Spent a lot of time there in my youth. Um, I just love Washington so much, and I'm happy to. I've adopted it as my home state. I've been here about 17 years and I don't think I'd want to live anywhere else. Um, you know, uh, I love, uh, you know, the Boston area, but there aren't too many places like this <laughs> in the Boston area. Uh, you know, there's a few here and there, I'm sure, but you know, great uh, state parks, uh, you know, uh, going off road, going into the outdoors. There are just so many places to do it out here. It's just amazing. <laughs> All right, let's keep this adventure going and see what else we can find. Ooh, would you look at that? <laughs> this video doesn't do it justice. You really need to actually be here to experience this beauty. So if you live in the uh, Olympia area, come out here and check out Capitol Forest. Right off in the distance, I'll see if I can snap a picture. You can barely see the absolutely spectacular Mount Rainier. You can see so much. I can. I think I can also see, yeah, I can see uh, Mount St. Helens over there. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, wonderful wildflowers are blooming. And I am experiencing the great outdoors and the absolute, absolute lap of luxury in this 23 QX80 sensory. <laughs> we still have some higher elevation to go. Maybe we can get some really awesome pictures and vistas before this little adventure is over. I'm having so much fun. Thank you for joining me on this adventure and let's see what else we can find. This is absolutely out of sight. I'm actually getting <laughs> a little vertigo driving on this road. Uh, if I go off the side of this road, I'm toast. No guardrails or anything. But man, it is just so beautiful up here. Not a lot of people either. A lovely July day. Perfect temperature, it's a little bit cooler up here, 67 degrees. We have a shooting range over there.
Don't want to get hit by a stray bullet. Better get out of here. I think it's a shooting range. Man, quite a drop on the uh, side over there. And there, and there's just like so many dirt roads. There's so many these dirt roads just keep on going on and on forever. Every time, you know, I keep on seeing more. <laughs> There's different levels of, uh, you know, technicality to these roads. Uh, some are a little bit more uh, suitable for off-road vehicles. But ones like this, almost, you know, at this time of year, almost any car could drive on it, you know, within reason. I actually saw someone flying past in their Tesla Model Y Performance, which has, you know, low profile tires, a, a stiff suspension, and, you know, uh, you know, very, you know, stiff summer pound, compound tires. Uh, probably didn't feel very pleasant driving on this gravel road but just goes to show you you don't you know need a qx80 <laughs> to explore this area or a jeep uh i'd much prefer to do it in this versus a, a tesla <laughs> and we just keep on going up and up i don't know how i don't know uh what it's going to be like at the top hopefully it'll be a really cool vista uh, but I'm just gonna keep on driving <laughs> I guess till I can't drive anymore till I have to turn around Or find another way out of here. I love uh, the trees and it's just nice on a day like this You have the shade of the trees and then you have the sunlight spilling through uh, It smells so it smells so awesome in here too. Nice fresh air If you want to get away from the monotony of the world <laughs> little attitude adjustment a place like this is a great place to do it all right well, it seems I got to make a decision on where to go do I go that way or do I go this way let's go this way my boss actually called me <laughs> I don't know you know he's like all I got is when you get back to the dealership but uh, hopefully it's not too pressing um, I cut out uh, cell phone reception is not the greatest out here so uh, I don't have a CB radio so if I get stranded or eaten by a bear or something like that I'm on my own it seems like I'm headed in the general right direction it's probably getting time where I need to kind of find my way out of here Unfortunately, this QX80 does not have uh, off-road mapping. <laughs> uh, I, I can, uh, I have my iPhone, but if I have no cell phone reception, but I don't think it's that complicated. I think eventually if I keep on driving on one of these roads, I'll find my way out of here. I got 221 miles of gas, so I have plenty, plenty of gas. I had a little gas before I left. Here's a cool uh, little clearing over here. up here maybe we can get a little viewpoint <laughs> I see the gates open doesn't say it can't go in this might actually be like the absolute highest elevation point in Capitol Forest I don't see anywhere else where you can get higher than this This road is getting a little funky though. I don't want to get a flat tire. <laughs> if you notice in the pictures, this does not have the uh, off-road tires on it. It has the 22 inch, uh, you know, big wheel and tire package, <laughs> which might be okay for a little bit of off-roading, but <laughs> I don't want a sharp rock to pierce one of those tires. Not a great way to end the day. Look at that. You'll snap a little picture. I don't see anyone around. Oh, I hear some guns. <laughs> yeah, if you're uh, if you're not too crazy about guns, Capital Forest might not be the <laughs> might not be the place for you. You'll see people walking around with a hunting rifle slung over their shoulder or you'll drive by an area and they'll be shooting guns. 
but I'm a little bit more used to it now. Growing up uh, in the Boston area, not too many people had guns. Quite the grade. I can tell you, uh, this road is definitely a little bit more uh, technical than those other roads, so I'm happy I'm in this QX80. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I don't get to a point where I have to turn around because I don't have much room to do it. can see uh, the Cascade Mountain Range over there. How it just kind of pops out of the land. Wow, so beautiful. Well, I guess uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure how exciting this adventure would be, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. <laughs> this is more than what I expected. I'm not a off-road expert, so it does uh, kind of make me slight uncomfortable to be on roads like this and this uh, nice QX80 if I was in like a Jeep Wrangler with off-road tires or something like that I'd probably feel a little bit more comfortable but this is quite a capable vehicle so I'm just gonna take it easy and see where this uh, little this little trail will take us Yeah, you don't want to go off the road here. <laughs> Ooh, this is quite the grade. You can feel the engine working a little hard here. It's definitely going to take it easy going downhill as well. someone riding their bike and this looks like this is the end of the line nice place for a little photo opportunity as well I'm gonna make sure I put on the e-brake here <laughs> oh my god this is absolutely beautiful When I started my work day today, <laughs> I didn't expect to be here, but this is just an absolute pleasant surprise. I don't think it can get much better than this. I think this is the climax of our little adventure here. Let's get some pictures of the QX80.
Okay, it looks like the fun is coming to an end, but as always, a little too soon. I'm gonna have to navigate my way out of here now without driving off the side of this cliff. <laughs> Good segue into the 360 around view monitor if you have to do a uh, turn around in a tight technical trail. Not only is this camera helpful in maneuvering around a parking lot, but it also is good for maneuvering in off-road situations like this. Holy moly. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's pretty good grade here, so I'm going to actually put this in a lower gear. Use the manual shift mode, use a little engine braking, a little compression braking to help us uh, go gently down this grade. Definitely going to have to come out here again and explore. Makes me kind of want to get a, a Jeep, <laughs> add a Jeep to the family or something. Uh, I have an FX37, which was probably okay for some of these roads, but I probably wouldn't want to take it on this road here. I'd want a real true four-wheel drive vehicle. Especially, you know, if you do come out here and more in the winter time, I, I, I can almost guarantee that there's going to be snow here. I could probably almost guarantee that in the winter time, this is probably pretty much snowed in. It's probably not uh, accessible in the colder in the colder times of year. <laughs> All right. I guess it was not quite as, as dramatic as I thought it was. <laughs> I know uh, some of you guys who are uh, more uh, used to going off-road, you're probably scoffing at me. Oh, this guy's a baby. <laughs> well, you know, this is not my car and it's about $80,000. <laughs> and there's a big drop off over there without any guardrails, so. You can understand why I'm a little bit apprehensive. All right, so we're getting out of this little spot. The gate's still open. I get a little paranoid when I'm by myself. I'm like, what, what if they, what if they close this gate behind me and then I can't get out? <laughs> That'd be pretty terrible. I guess it wouldn't be absolutely horrible to spend the night in this QX80. I could definitely sleep in here, fold down the seats. And that would uh, make an interesting video too. All right, so I think I'm headed in the right general vicinity, but we'll see. A little bit back to more groomed, uh, wider, <laughs> civilized roads. I'm not as worried here about getting a tire puncture, but it's possible anywhere. I was just uh, reassuring my boss that I took a pre-owned <laughs> 23 QX80, not a brand new one. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, on some of the videos that are a little bit closer to home on uh, paved roads, I'll, I'll take a new car. But uh, <laughs> but on roads like this, I don't want to take a brand new vehicle and get it all messed up. I hope I'm not driving around in circles. Because everything kind of looks the same. <laughs> the same. Uh, but at least I got two or three more hours, uh, more hours of daylight. But uh, hopefully I'll get out of there, out of here before then. Make it home for dinner. Hopefully. All right. Well, I'm starting to feel like I'm not going in a circle, and hopefully. Um, Heading towards the out the outside of the park, not deeper inside it. <laughs> Woo! Now that's some technical off-roading. Believe it or not, <laughs> if I had the cojones and I didn't care about damaging this QX80, I think the QX80 probably might get a little bumps and bruises, but it could definitely handle that. <laughs> that's where you separate the men from the boys when it comes to off-road vehicles. <laughs> That's the difference between a car-based crossover built on unibody versus having a uh, real four-wheel drive built on body and frame with a true two-speed transfer case with low range. All right, now we're headed downwards, <laughs> a lower grade. I'm going to see if I can take advantage of a little engine braking. Got it in second gear. So now I'm starting to feel like we're on our way out of here. 
Just got a text from the boss. Uh, he, I, sent, I texted him some pictures. I had some cell phone signal on the top of uh, the mountain. I guess we'll call it a mountain. And uh, he's happy with the pictures. So I'm not in trouble <laughs> for, this, for this little adventure. And how we could make it an awesome adventure depends on you, the viewers. You liking and commenting on this video. I appreciate the views. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Look at all those wildflowers going up the, that hill. There are some uh, amazing artists out there in, in our history. But as I always say, one of the greatest artists of all is Mother Nature. God or whatever you shall call it. Oh, look at that little uh, dirt bike trail. So, so beautiful. Got some uh, switchbacks going on here. Trail close to motorcycles. It's a nice walking trail. I love hiking. I definitely want to come back here and do a little hiking. <laughs> See, there's just all sorts of trails going in all different directions. You can get lost here in a good way or a bad way. Sometimes it's fun to get lost, sometimes it's not. And there's another another trail right here. They just they're all over the place. I have to be careful not to ride the brake. I don't want to cook the brakes. <laughs> I wish this had uh, hill descent control. That's the one uh, off-road thing that I'm surprised the QX80 doesn't have is a hill descent control feature. It just goes to show how uh, how steep this grade is. I have it in second gear and this thing just wants to fly down this hill. When you, It's funny because when you're driving up, uh, you don't realize how steep it is until you drive down. <laughs> then you're like, oh man, <laughs> I was really driving up hell that whole time. And here's another switchback. And then there's another trail that goes somewhere in that direction. Who knows where it goes? Maybe one day we'll come back and explore some more. Fortunately, today we're running out of time. I tend to have more adventure than me than <laughs> life allows, unfortunately. Uh, there's a nice little walking trail right there, close to motor vehicles. That's nice. I mean, obviously it's nice to go dirt biking, but if I'm hiking on trails, I don't have to worry about someone running me over with a dirt bike or quad. It would be kind of crazy if I actually made it back to the dealership exactly at six o'clock. <laughs> if I do that, if somehow the timing is right, because I haven't timed this at all, if that just happens, it'll be pretty funny. Because <laughs> that's exactly when I'm off work. but I'm still pretty, we're still pretty high up. So I still have, uh, I still have a little, little bit to go before out of, uh, out of the uh, Capitol Forest. But I think we're getting there. I think we're headed in the right direction, which is downhill. <laughs> oh, I finally ma made it out. <laughs> I don't know where I am, but we made it out of the Capitol Forest, back in the tarmac. QX80 is a little bit dirtier, but pretty much unscathed. And luckily, I have a navigation system to help me find my way back. We're on Sherman Road Southwest. And when I have a second, I will pull over and program our uh, destination back to the dealership, back to the, into the navigation system. Infinity of Tacoma. I should know where Infinity of Tacoma is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Start. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like 45 miles. Woo! I've really, uh, I've really uh, gone deep, I guess, haven't I? <laughs> 
So it looks like I'll be a little bit late for work. I'll be back at 6.33 p.m. So thank God for navigation. Thank God for this beautiful 23 QX80 Sensory. One of my favorite all-time Infinity products. I absolutely love these things. Um, I've come awful close to getting one <laughs> a few times. I've, I, I've owned a few Infinities. I have one now. I have an Infinity FX37. Uh, I don't need a big uh, full-size SUV because I do have a 12-passenger van, which I pull the seats out and we use for all sorts, you know, hauling gear. Uh, you know, I have a band, so you use it to haul band equipment, camping, all that fun stuff. <laughs> so having another large vehicle isn't in the cards at this point. But one day, I would love to have a QX80 in my driveway. But if you're looking for a luxury SUV for yourself, a full-size one, well, one of my all-time favorite full-size luxury SUVs is the QX80. It's built and assembled in Japan, so if you do value Japanese build quality, it's one of the few full-size luxury SUVs that you can get that's made in Japan. It's the real deal. This thing is solid. Um, it doesn't squeak or rattle. It just has a, I can't put my finger on it, but you know, compared to like some of the other competition, overall, this has a feeling of solidity that I just, no other vehicle has. It just feels very well put together. Um, it almost feels like it was uh, machined out of a single piece of like metal or titanium. It's just so tight and so quiet. Um, and these things hold up. They've been making the same basic platform, the QX80, uh, pretty much since 2011 when it was uh, redesigned and reintroduced uh, and with its old name, the QX56. It has been updated, but uh, the, they didn't mess around with the things that worked. And the things that worked on this thing is the mechanical parts, the 5.6 liter, you know, 400 horsepower V8, the great four wheel drive system, the amazing seven speed automatic transmission. Uh, they kept those because they were not broken, but they've updated over the years. They have a beautiful exterior styling, a nice stately appearance. We have a nice updated interior. We have this new uh, infotainment system that features the latest in technology from Infinity. <laughs> and uh, the Sentry, which this one is, is one of the range topping models. I have heated and air conditioned seats. Um, it's a little, uh, you know, warm today. So having the uh, air conditioned seats on one just keeps uh, I me mean, nice and comfortable, prevents my back and bottom from getting damp and sweaty, which is not a very great feeling. It feels kind of gross. <laughs> So you won't have to worry in this. And likewise, when it's cold and nasty out, you have heated seats and a heated steering wheel. All right, there's my little product plug at the end of the video. Um, I have a lovely drive back to work. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. Until next time, till our next adventure, I'll see you then.